Eh? Say Jesus. Jesus. Say I'm free. I'm free. Uh, look that uncle. Look that uncle. Say I'm free. Or oh, yeah, point the uncle. Point the uncle. Point that uncle. Point the uncle like this. Uh, point this uncle for me. Eh? All right. Come. Follow me. I got to meet your mom. I got to meet your mom. Yeah. Drop, drop your phone number. Are you hearing me? I want to call you in the evening. Yeah. Don't worry, she's fine. Praise the Lord. My name is Joy Smith. I'm okay. coming from Airport Road. Please celebrate the Airport Road people. Please, what has God of FCDC done for you? I just want to appreciate this God in this century. Celebrate the God in this sanctuary. God is faithful to pay. I just want to thank God for all his mercies, all his goodness, all his healings in our life. God is too wonderful. I just want to thank God. Last week, Tuesday, I was here and something happened in the church last week. My baby was not feeling fine, but the sickness was not that serious. That was on Monday. She only just vomit. She was not feeling hot. Only vomit on Monday. So on Tuesday, I decided to carry her to this place. And on that Tuesday, the reason why I forced myself to come here is because there's some people I invited. I wanted them to come. So on Tuesday, when I was there, after all the prayer, still the devil, they don't fear God. They still find me come inside church. See, so my child started just doing things that I cannot explain. She was just malfunctioning that very Tuesday. But I was looking at the baby, I was telling people that was around me that this child is not doing well. They say it's just fear. You focus, you focus. So I just want to cut it short. They threw arrow to this, my baby, but God stood by me. God decided to wipe away my tears. But I don't know what would have happened if I if maybe when I go to the house, I will tell people that after church, my child died in the church. Something terrible happened to my child here yeah, last week. But the pastor prayed. After he prayed to, for me, I took her home and the thing came back again. But 
in everything God stood by us. God gave us victory. And I just want to appreciate this man of God. He's my brother indeed. I'm Ibogay and I'm proud of him. Please celebrate the man of God. <laughs> Thank you. This pastor is a special pastor. See, when you go home, when you go home, when you see this kind of pastor, just know that you have somebody behind you. He's a pastor. He's a father. He's my father. Like, I don't normally come here to worship, but when I see this pastor, I get this joy in me. Pastor, I say thank you. Thank you for everything you did. He stood by me I, and even came to hospital to look after us. See, pastor shocked me. When I mean he shocked me, he shocked me, I will not tell you, but he shocked me. Pastor did something that is terrible. Even my own pastor in my church cannot do it. I just want to say and you are just like that. I just want to say Oh. Praise God. You would understand the joy. Uh, she was here on Tuesday. She said the child, she don't want to like, let me explain very well. The child was sick before coming to church on Tuesday. They called her in the child school that the child have a hotness and they took care of her on Tuesday, she brought some people to church and inside the church, the child started behaving funny. If you remember, our dad in the Lord carried the child to the altar on Tuesday. She on her own does not understand what was going on with the child. When she was going home, the thing started again. And it was confirmed that the child was conversing. It was actually a convulsion and it was a silent one that this one keep faster than any other one twisting the neck that immediately this one can take life between a few hours but because the 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 mother did not take her to school that day she decided to bring her to church and the man of god prayed for her carried her to this altar it's not rare like Papa taking people to this altar is not rare. And Papa carried her to this altar and prayed and cast out whatsoever attack that has befallen her. And when the enemy reinforced, because the man of God had prayed, and if you heard, Papa said she should drop her phone number. And Papa was calling. She said Papa was calling them to check up on the child. Papa was still praying. And because God of FCDC intervened, that conversion did not kill a child. Please celebrate God. This one was a silent one. Not that one that you will see the child jerking. That this one is a terrible one. So unknown to her. That she didn't even know. They told her. But because God of FCDC used our papa to deliver this child. The child now is well. And she said papa came to hospital. Please celebrate this great father. It's not all pastor that we do it. The truth be told. He went to the hospital and mama as well. Two of them, two of them came to the hospital. And also, and papa paid the bill. Please appreciate the man of God. It's not easy at all. So now, how is your child? Where is she now? She, she has gone to school. Please appreciate this God of FCDC. Now we celebrate this wonderful testimony. Had it been she didn't bring this child to church, only God knows what would have happened. But we celebrate this God of FCDC that knows you better than yourself. Please appreciate this God one more time. Now we celebrate your wonderful testimony and thanks for coming out to share. Um, what advice do you have for people listening to you? Okay. I just want to tell everyone, the whole world, if you are serving God, just serve God. If you are serving Satan, serve Satan. Whosoever that is, please. Yes, so. Praise God. Praise God. You will not understand, but please serve God. God is the world ultimate. Please celebrate her. She goes back to her seat. She's 